Hello everyone, the Ranks is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky episode 194. Where I was sort of sitting on top of this mountain where we left off in the last episode. Really just assessing the planet and our, our mission, what we're sort of doing, pushing on, exploring new worlds. And I realized this planet is, is beautiful. Like, it has these, these sort of uh, neat tree features, and it's also got cacti, and what well, we have this salvage, it's got salvageable scrap, right? But then it's also got this beautiful kind of green water ocean area. I mean, I don't know. Look at the night sky. It's got this this beautiful sort of pink and lavender Look at those. And we got a base on that planet. I mean, really, if you think about it, well, we already we built two bases in this system. This system is very much almost sort of our new home, I suppose you could say. Maybe. Potentially. I don't know if I really wanted to crash through these cacti as much as harvest them, but we're going to do that. And as much as I want to believe that all of our old bases are virtually unnecessary, the truth of the matter is we have a lot of plants planted at our old bases that are growing outside and therefore do not need electricity. So I don't know if I can justify the creation of all new bases for harvesting. I mean, we can do for harvesting minerals, but for growing plants, I mean, we have some pretty amazing areas already. Cadmium, no thank you. That being said, we do want to push on and explore new areas. So perhaps what we need, because we're not in a rush to get to the center of the galaxy at all, I think what we'll do instead is we'll actually just sort of explore the stars near this one and flesh out another little no uh, local area. Because uh, the Thranxian Expanse is you know, pre-patch, it's got all these bases and odd configurations and nobody's got power, and I'm thinking maybe we just need to find a new one. We'll have multiple. Maybe we'll revisit. We do need to revisit and put power on that base. So many things to do, right? But the truth of the matter is, this is a really, really neat desert planet. And I think our water base really is the icing on the cake. So let's swing back over there for a second. We're going to head out here to the middle of the ocean. The only downside is being a... Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're getting some some odd atmospheric reflection in the cloud. Yeah, that cloud was causing some serious serious issues. But being that it's an uncharted system, we're not really going to find sunken starships to go hunting or freighters. But look at the sky of this planet on the day side. Look at this big fan of this planet and uh oh, why did we why did we lose our door why do we not have power no it says it doesn't have power but it does okay well there was an update but it doesn't look like they fixed everything i believe they are working on it um oh give me a hollow door please thank you how are we doing for power here batteries are just chuck full charging oh yeah charging okay well, let's activate our teleporter. Boom. Now, here we are. Okay. Solar panels are generating wonderfully. Base computer. And here is our Nautilon. And again, we're talking, you know, 99% sure, but we're just going to scan anyways. Yeah, no crashed freighters. Which is peculiar, because I get that the system is uncharted. 
but realistically, there are ships that fly into this system. Is there a storm or something? The water's looking... <laughs> that looks so neat, though. All right. Well, we don't have anything functionally happening here. This is sort of just for decoration. I mean, this is a neat... Ooh, ooh, we bottomed out. That's no good. Is it just me, or did they speed up the Nautilon? Oh, my. This feels significantly faster. That can't just be... No, maybe it's... I don't know. I didn't see anything in the patch notes about that, but let me know what your experience is. Is it that maybe my modules are recalculating? Acceleration. Top speed still isn't that high. Eh, slightly higher. Maybe the overall top speed has been increased. It kind of comes across that way. A little bit. A little bit. I think we're going to leave this stuff here. In fact, I think we're going to put this sulfide, crystal sulfide, right onto the Nautilon, because why not? And then the other stuff, we'll uh, we'll sort this out. We are keeping our inventory relatively organized. With these things to place on the freighter, and then we have this to sell. And then our technology, we're going to do some rearranging later. Oof, probably need to refill that. Okay. All right, very good. And then the cargo area here, it's rather well organized for the most part. Salt, chlorine, okay. Everything looks pretty good. Looks like we're getting some sunset action. No crashed freighter. I try for drowned starships, none of those either. Yeah, being an uncharted system sort of uh, limits your options for that sort of thing. So I think as cool as it is to see these really exotic planets, if we're looking to make some useful bases, we're going to need to look for wealthy systems. So that being said, as much as we do enjoy this system, it is a little gratuitous as a cosmetic system, although we do have the phosphorus base on the other planet. So, and that is literally our ability to cap out on phosphorus. So why don't we go do that to, a, to the nth degree? Let's go do that. I'm not sure if there's a benefit in having more than 9,999 phosphorus. I imagine there might be. But I don't think we're going to worry about that. We're just going to cap off and, and leave the rest. We'll leave the rest. That's where our freighter is anyways, and we want to travel by freighter from now on. So we'll go ahead, we'll travel to our Phosphorus base, we'll gather Phosphorus off the exotic planet, then we'll hop in the freighter and we'll book it to the nearest wealthy system in the neighborhood of stars that we're collectively in. What I would like to do, what I would like to do, and I've been thinking about this significantly, as much fun as it is to explore and, and everything, I would like to interact with the community more, so I want to get to a point where we can switch the game over to multiplayer. And even above and beyond before that, I would like to hunt for, you know, S-class starships that, that are that are crashed or you know, I think that's a I think that's a noble cause long term. Because every time you find a nice maxed out S class starship, as infrequent as that may be, but if you're hunting for them, you know, maybe you find them a little more often. Whenever you find one, it's a huge kind of boost that you can give to everybody. You can say, hey, look, here it is. And, and especially since I benefited from that, I feel only right that I should maybe contribute to it. And I think that's, that's a nice lofty goal. That and finding a method and a way to play multiplayer. Multiplayer is going to be tricky only because there are uh, so many different ways that it could go and... I don't necessarily know, you know, not everybody's going to want to be featured. And then, of course, voice recording with multiple people can always be tricky as well. So, we'll have to see. I'm brainstorming some ideas. 
for the time being, I think we, we still have bases to build and resources to get in order. Because we're not maxed out on everything. For me, it feels like our cargo like this should be... Everything should be a full stack of what I have here. And our indium. We don't even have our indium on us. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Oh, no. We're skimming past this planet. That's right. It's the moon. Stand by. Let's refresh my memory here. This is the incandescent planet. But that's not the one... No, it was the moon. Right? Because it was... a redacted moon. That's right. Alright, let's do it. There's our fleet. Which we also have expeditions to recover. So much going on. Mm-hmm. I remember this place. Oh, yes. All right, this is good. And let's go ahead and land. Look at that bright, that bright, bright red sky. Ooh! bit of a haze or a fog, it kind of occluded everything until our eyes adjusted to this light refraction. Look at that. How's the electromagnetic generator going? Still running strong. These seem almost broken. This is a C class. This is the lowest class, and I'm generating so much power, we're only using 98. Now, I know this base isn't doing anything ridiculous, but I mean, it is kind of, because we have you can come here and pretty much max out on your phosphorus at any given time. Um, I don't know if there's a way to maybe quick save half of it, but I don't want to take all of it because I don't need all of it, and I'm just going to end up destroying or selling it. But I don't want to sit here and minimize it, so I think since it generates for free, we're just going to take it. 500 an hour, I mean, yeah, this thing will be full tomorrow. Jeez. That's a serious, serious amount of resources. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to find a base in a wealthy system that does this for maybe magnetized ferrite. That would be really killer. Okay, so that's the plan. I think that's what we'll do next. I mean, because this isn't even like a big... This is, this is all just kind of thrown in the dirt, slapdash. We were figuring it out. It's not even the best layout, to be honest. Oh, we do have some large refiners, though. Let's make sure we didn't leave anything valuable here. Okay. Let me come up here. Yep, let me get these awkward windows and colors. Oh, this system really is neat, though. Okay, I don't. Re no regrets. No regrets, right? But we we do want to keep searching. This will absolutely be a base we come back to. The Truders Colony. That's not. No. I thought we called it. We'll call it Red Dawn. There we go. Red Dawn. Okay. Now we're good to depart. Let's go hit the freighter. I'm sorry. The Imperial Cruiser. It just so happens to carry a lot of freight. Look at that fleet. What an armada. Don't crash into the trade, frigate. All right, requesting docking in the center bay. Copy, proceeding to parking location number one. Excellent, thank you. Ooh, we're still getting light refraction up here. I think we've been in the presence of this planet's odd magnetic sphere for a bit long. We should depart. We should depart, and then we'll sort out what we're going to do, if we're going to do anything on this capital ship, once we get to our destination. I think that is appropriate. For the time being, we'll sell... No, we're not going to sell. We're not going to sell, because we're going to be going to a wealthier system, ideally, and we'll sell then. Now, let's make sure these refiners are empty, and it looks like maybe empty they are. Enough that we can be done for now, it appears, right? 
So we got extra emerald, extra chromatic metal, and this one should be our indium. All right, I think we can run that one again real quick because we're going to need more indium. So let's go ahead and we'll analyze these tritium fragments. Look at that. Um... If we go silver, gold, and platinum, I still think these should probably be stored on board my high capacity inventory. Why would we store them here? And these, these can be transferred into other resources. We don't need those. We need the pyrite, the warp cell, and that's about it. I mean, this thing is, this ship is so rocked and ready to go. I mean, we could, so we have room to expand here. We could install a new weapon. Maybe for our exploration craft, that could be fun. We could add another bump to the shield here, or here. This would be ideally the smartest place for it, probably. Right there. 7%. Uh, we don't really have a problem with shields. And then we come down here, we could try the Cyclotron Ballista. I don't like the idea of a non-guided weapon, but I've never used it or tried it, or the Positron Ejector. But really, I want to do those. If I'm going to do those, I'd prefer to do them on our heavy fighter. No, it appears like it's going to take a second to process this indium, so I guess I'm going to change what I said originally. Oh, that's right. We've got all this stuff here. Uh, so the best way to do that, I think, is to just send it to storage containers like that. Capillary shells. So let's let's send those to storage as well. This can go to high capacity inventory. I don't know if we're storing tritium, but we might as well. We can totally store it here. This phosphorus is overflow phosphorus. I have no idea what to do with this extra phosphorus. Five thousand extra phosphorus. We'll have to see. We'll have to consult the refiner magic chart and see if there's any way we can make use of that much phosphorus. I'm sure there's some some neato things we can do. I like these yellow lights. 80%. Well, let's look at the capital ship's inventory. Look at this. Nice, cleaned out. No, no, no. These are going to go in my inventory because I'm not full yet. Why would I store anything anywhere else until this is full? Look at all the room here. I want this to be like the periodic table of elements of important stuff. You know, we need a lot more carbon. We're good on sodium. We do need more sodium nitrate. We're low on these atmospheric gases. Star bulb is low. Uranium, ammonia, paraffin. This silicate powder. What are we even processing a refiner to create glass? Oh my goodness. You can create glass with silicate powder. Huh. Isn't that interesting? Makes sense. Should have thought of it. Don't know why I didn't. Alright. How's the inventory look now? Right. Look at that. Alright. Last but not least. Last little thing before we go. We're going to make some silver. Now we're going to make some gold. Okay, good. Now that we're all resourced up and inventory straightened, let's get out of this magnetic sphere. Find ourselves a nice, wealthy system to travel to. Look at all of these. Expand. Data unavailable. Minimize. Yeah, exactly, because it's uncharted. But which of these here... Oh, another Uncharted right next door. Viking manufacturing economy. I see the... Yeah, okay. The, the hyperdrive has no fuel. I get that, so we need to fix that. Warp hypercore. High, high capacity antimatter-based fuel. Cell harnesses an internal black hole generator to power starship hyperdrives across multiple warp jumps. So walls are especially designed to reflect any reality paradoxes back towards the heart of the unit where they generate additional power. 
So that's going to be a better fuel source. Then that's the fuel source I want to make. So let's take a look at what that takes, shall we? Uh, there's a warp cell. Did we not... Was that not a pattern that we learned? Consumable. It would be here. No, we don't know how to make that. Ooh, the plot thickens. Well, now we have another thing to look for. Manufacturing facilities. That's a thing we're going to have to do. We need to remember that. All right, well, let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and charge the warp core with a single warp cell. What's the difference? Oh, no, it must have used more than one. Oh, it probably used... Like a ton? I don't know. <laughs> What's the benefit? That's crazy. I'll have to look that up. Um... We have room for one more over here. One tiny one more. How about this? What if we move the visor here, the holographic scope there, and then this visor here? How about that? Oh, they don't help each other? Well, I guess not. They're not really modules. These we rearranged into squares. I think that's as good as that gets. Okay, well, we've got fuel now, so which of these systems are where we want to go? Is this where I came from? That is where I came from, isn't it? Oh, how interesting. We can go to one of these other places? No. We're going to do our neighborhood, like we said. So let's go ahead. That's a two-star economy. Three-star economy. Shipping economy that is flourishing with Gek. Formidable conflict. Two planets, no moons, water is present, and it's an F8 PF star right next door. I accept these terms. Let's go. Ah, yes. We have arrived in the Kutanakro system, a flourishing Gek shipping system. Uh, with a rose nebula on the side near the star and sort of midnight blue on the other side. Okay, all right. I think first things first. I don't feel like wasting any more time and I don't want to forget. Let's go ahead and sell our bobble for a couple of million units. To be precise, let us sell the... Oh, I just... Yes, the advanced gyroscope. Ooh, plus 7.8%. Not bad for 2.6 million units, just digging up an old piece of machinery. All right, it's time to welcome back the fleets. We're going to do these sort of quick because they're a bit redundant and we just need to get them going, right? So, the vision of freedom. Let's go ahead and debrief the commander. Let's see, we've got money, an item worth money, more money, sack venom, money... Money twice, Gek Relic, Gek Relic, a couple of blanks, which I guess are more money-making items, Vortex Cubes, Enriched Carbon, Sack Venom, Enriched Carbon, Units, Antimatter, wow. That was actually a pretty good haul. Astonishing Fruit, a biological sample. Toxic Fingers. Oh, there's another 2 million units. I'm getting paid, not really having to work for it too hard. That was nice. So this isn't bad. A half a million, 600,000. Not bad. The freighter got overloaded with sack, venom, and enriched carbon. Um, this, though, is valuable, actually. Uh, enriched carbon is used in the construction of some of the higher-level manufacturing. So we're going to go ahead and hold on to these and move these to our manufacturing cargo ship. Uh, the sack venom we're actually going to sell directly... Um, from the inventory of the freighter. No, we'll, no, we know. No, we'll just we'll take it all for now. We'll sort it out um, later. That way we can just kind of debrief everybody and get all their stuff out of the freighter. Leave the freighter open for emergencies with as much as possible. I, th I think that's the smart way to go about that. So let's see. We've got um, this looks like going to be a unit for money, a quarter of a million, third of a million, another item some iridescite, that's always valuable, and then more units. A lot of units gained. Ooh, polished eggs. An unearthed treasure. I like it. 
Synthetic curios. We'll have to read all of those at once. Alright, what do we got? Data. Units. Units. Dirty bronze. Oh, I like that dirty bronze. That is another item I believe that we need gases to construct. And 1.1 million units. Wow, making serious money. Magnetized ferrite. Not a lot of it, though. Some geodesite, indium. Okay. I'd rather get indium than activated indium, so that's at least good. And then we have the one single science ship. Debrief commander. I can't believe you made it. Losses substantial. Ugh. Nope. Nothing really from that one. Hmm. I hate to do this, but we're going to have to. Like, we have to do this right now. Because we need to get rid of this science ship. And unfortunately, that means... Oh. But this is a good adventure. I don't want to give this to our... We have to. We have We have one, one too many science ships. And we really, we just need to get rid of... Get rid of that extra one. It's holding us back. Where is it? The voice of Kaurul. We need to get rid of... Uh, actually, you're worse. You are the worst one. Goodbye. Yep, we're going to send you on your way. Have fun. Pew! That ship is like, Captain, I'll report back success. Yeah, you do that. You do that. You let me know how that goes. Yikes. Let's go industrial... Industrial, and then support. We'll start leveling up these support ones. That's nice. What's another one? This one's a two-star voyage of discovery. That's good. So we'll go um, exploration. Yep, yep. And then a fourth with a uh, support. I know, we're not really sending any combatants, which I guess we should, but... Oh well, too bad. If they get damaged, we'll repair them. Balanced expedition, yeah, that's that's pretty easy. We'll send the the low ones, so we'll do one industrial exploration, combat, trade, and support. That's easy. And then the last one is a combat patrol at one star. So I'm thinking, yep, combat, combat, support, and combat, <laughs> and nobody else. Do we not have... No, we do have more combat. We send all the combatants but one. We'll save one combatant in reserves. And then... So we didn't get the good expedition, but we did get everybody going. And now we can go ahead and we can afford to rip stuff off of the freighter here. Of course, there's no free slots. That's how it works. Um, we are going to do that. Because we can. We'll put that in our high-capacity inventory. And then we just need to sort out some of this excess nonsense we've got going on here. So let's start with we shall sell the astonishing fruit. This sample looks unnaturally clean, as if all other life that came into contact with it has been burned away. I think we've found that one before, so it's obviously not that rare. <laughs> right? The next one is Toxic Fingers. Approximately 217 years old, from the obvious care taken in delicately packed, packing away this sample, one is forced to presume that the huge number of insect corpses that surrounded it were not present at the moment of burial. Well, that's just weird. Polished eggs, approximately 703 years old, valuable in and of itself, this artifact is made by priceless glint, by priceless... Hmm, that's not written right. Okay, I thought I was messing it up. Value in and of itself. Valuable in and of itself. This artifact is made by Priceless. The glimpse it gives into the society that once ruled this planet. Yeah, that's... Okay, that's a little weird. I get what they're saying, though. I get what they're saying. Synthetic curios, 656 years old. Crawling with insects and haunted by a musty aroma. This treasure is nonetheless an artifact of great worth. Well, you didn't really tell us anything about the artifact itself, but I'll allow it. Sac Venom is just to sell. 
so is Vortex Cube. I don't really care about the Gek Relics. I don't know why it reorganizes everything when you sell something, but I I do think 5,000 extra Phosphorus is way too much. Oh, do I want to do this, though? I don't think I want to do that either. No, I don't want to do that. We'll have to find a use for it. I think maybe we sold it all. Looks like it's all taken care of. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to switch over to buy, and let's see what they have for us, right? Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Not a lot. Why are they not selling that much? 600 uranium, 700 paraffin? I mean, yeah, I'll buy it, sure. But it's not as much as I wanted. I wanted a lot more. All right, well, we need to visit the local space station and figure out why this flourishing shipping economy is trying to stiff arm us on how much they'll sell to us, for crying out loud. Um, I think the freighter can hold on to our excess antimatter. And these can now go to our exosuit for transfer to our hauler, and now the, the Imperial cruiser is empty, and our starship has room, and here we go. Wonderful. I think, though, what we determined, realistically, is that we don't need any more geodesite or iridesite. And so I think we're just going to turn them into platinum. Right, and then same with the iridesite. And just give ourselves 2,500 platinum? I think I'd rather have that. We already have, I think, 30 iridesite and 30 geodesite set aside. Yeah, now we're up to 6,000 platinum. I'm a fan of that. I like that. And these are good. These are good to hold on to. I mean, eventually, if we just keep doing expeditions and saving the little manufactured items that we get, we'll reach a point where we'll be a bit, we will be able to make some high-level items with virtually no significant work on our end as far as gathering resources. Oh no, what happened to our What happened to our hauler here? What's what's going on? Something is broken. Hyperdrive is out of fuel. I guess that's all that's wrong with it. How bizarre. Look at all this. And really, I guess we could have accepted the geodesite and not the ir iridesite. So we'll remember that for next time. We'll remember to take the geodesite, not the other one. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and give this starship all of these little goodies here. Perfect. That works for now. Still kind of sparking, like it's all dorked up. Should we fly around with our heavy fighter? We do have double shield upgrades. I mean, we don't really. We, we need more pulse engine upgrades. That's really what we need. We do have a crazy boosted phase beam. Let's do it. Let's fly it for a little bit. Let's let's fly something different. Although this doesn't have. The, the the truth is this doesn't really have any of our fuel or pyrite, right, or any of that stuff, so. Oh, the canopy is absolutely more restrictive, which I guess I should have accepted. Way more maneuverable, though. Ooh, look at that planet. What do we got? An overgrown planet, star bulb, high sentinel activity, copper, paraffinium, salt. That's kind of neat. It's worth checking out. I don't necessarily know if I want to base there with those resources. I'm pretty sure, though. Ooh, careful. I'm going to be happier with my 
caught Saddam's coup doing the exploration craft thing, so we're going to come back to the freighter. We're going to land on our cruiser. I'll get it right eventually. And then, honestly, we're going to have to wrap up this episode and proceed to the next one for exploration of this system. This has been episode 194. And until next time, take care.